Well, guys, welcome to another What's Going On with Real Estate series. Today, I have Igor Petrovsky with me from Bellevue, Washington. How are you doing, Igor? I'm doing great. How are you, John? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. So, so tell us what's going on with real estate down in Bellevue. And actually, let, let me just first um, ask, what's your geographic area that you basically work in down there? Yeah, you know, I live and work in Bellevue, which we call the, the east side, uh, right east of Seattle, across the water. Uh, our geographical area, our county, which is King County, we cover pretty much the greater King County, but mostly east side where I'm located. Um, when we have clients in Seattle, we just make a quick drive and, and go to Seattle and meet people. But also we work with the folks that are looking north and south of King County. So greater King County, for investment business, we look outside of that where prices are a little bit more affordable, but mostly for our retail side of the business, King County, Bellevue, Seattle. All right, very good. And what brokerage do you work out of, Igor? Yeah, I work with uh, Windermere, Bellevue Commons office. So uh, we have a few offices here uh, in Bellevue and very local brand, very community oriented, uh, community oriented company um, around Seattle. All right. And so Bellevue, Seattle area, what's the median purchase price or average purchase price, whatever is easy for you in that area for like a single family residence right now? You know, Bellevue and Seattle are the most, the two of the most expensive cities uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, King County. So um, we have East and West Bellevue, but overall for, for East Bellevue is just right under 900,000. <laughs> and then West Bellevue, um, actually around two million <laughs> isn't it crazy <laughs> yeah so, crazy yeah so, what? so you cross four or what uh four or five and you go from one million to two million uh, <laughs> just okay. like that yeah just What's like that, that typical size home for a two million dollar home over there or what, what kind of properties are we talking about you know um I work with a few builders uh, in that field. So usually folks are um, oriented, uh, going for, you know, they find an older home, older home, or which they call land, sells around for 1.2, 1.3. And then there are a nicer area of uh, West Bellevue where it could be 2 million just for the land, uh, like where Bill Gates live, closer to Medina. Um, but, but overall, the new construction, um, we're talking most about new construction the, in those areas, 4,000 square feet and up. There is nothing really smaller than 4,000 square right. feet. So usually when you already put a development and make it nice and uh, looking to make some kind of income from doing that, folks go in a bigger mansion style homes there. All right. Are these homes that have a view of Lake Washington, so to speak, most of them, or some, or what? Not necessarily. Uh, the the guys on the water or with some kind of views, those are three and a half million and up. I would start at least with three, three, depends, you know, that, that would depend. Lower than three million, you're probably not going to have a view in that area. Um, but uh, three and a half and up, you, you could have closer to the water, it could be four, uh, and so on. Okay. And what direction is our, is our prices going right now in Bellevue and Seattle? You can split out the two if you wanted. Are we seeing price increases? Or have they leveled off or what's going on there? You know, the thing is, when we talk about Seattle and Bellevue, those two actually in the past eight months, uh, they dropped. Uh, we look data on, you know, February to February. So 2018 February to right now, if you look at Bellevue, Bellevue dropped 9% and Seattle dropped around 12 but overall, the King County, they balanced all together, if you'll take north and south, um, King County increased 2% because we have other cities where prices are more affordable. They didn't slow in the beat, right? So they still saw growth. They still saw multiple offers. So altogether, the King County appreciated. But Bellevue and Seattle, they dropped around 10%. Um, and now we see a comeback where things are... We don't have data for March yet, but for February, we, we see that things are going multiple offers again. And I think I would not be surprised if uh, if March things would get even busier. So Seattle dropped 100,000 in a year and uh, in February, it picked up 40,000 in one month. So okay. it's kind of, you know, it's getting there again. It's rebounding pretty good, isn't it? 
Yeah. Well, you're, you know, because the interest rates, one of the reasons is right. uh, we got fairly low interest rates yeah. and it motivates buyers to go, oh, wow, let's grab that rate, let, let, let's go buy a home. Um, so that's another reason why, why it's busy again. That's a very good point. Agreed. So are you primarily a listing agent or your buyers or all of the above? You know, we uh, don't discriminate <laughs> based on <laughs> area or being a listener or buyer. Uh, I, I work with buyers and the sellers. We have a few listings, one in Issaquah. Got actually another a listing appointment tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it will go smoothly. And I have a few buyers. So for, uh, I call it for retail side of the business. I work with, with buyers and, and the sellers. And then there is uh, investment side of the business. We, we cover all, also a whole bunch of that. Okay. Well, for the last few minutes here, Edgar, I wanted to just allow you to talk about whatever you wanted to bring up in this conversation. Anything in particular? Uh, you know, the, the, the three units uh, in Everett, uh, so Everett is the city where, where the Boeing is landed. Uh, very, very busy, nice, uh, uh, well, not even a little anymore. It's fairly affordable city that is booming right now. Well, because to Bellevue, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, it, it's a little far away. We, we got a three unit uh, multifamily uh, uh, complex, which still could be financed with the regular conventional finance. And as you know, the asking price on that one is uh, 500,000 as of right now, and it brings around $4,200 in brand. So for who is watching out of the States might not be very good, but around 7% cap rate is very, very good for this area uh, for an investment. Um, so if anybody who's watching wants to get more information, we have uh, um, all of the spreadsheets with all of the returns. That's the only property that I have in mind right now besides anything else we have going on. Great. Igor, if someone wants to contact you, what would be the best way to do that? Check in with John or find me at 206-643-9768, text message, phone call. Uh, 206 643 9768, whatever works best. I'm, I'm always trying to make time to, to talk to people. Absolutely, as well. So, uh, what about your email address in case somebody wants to reach out that way? Yeah, it, it is pretty simple. It is uh, Igor P, so I G O R P like Paul at windermer.com. Awesome. Igor, thanks for your time today and a little overview of Belgium, Seattle. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Bye bye.